Fundamental Analysis Part 3, Earnings Per Share and Price to Earnings Ratio In the last video we were talking about Bob's Electronics Store. We already know that Bob has raised 100,000 rupees by the issue of 10,000 shares. Now, let's start the video by introduction to Net Profit. What is Net Profit? Net Profit is a company's total earnings or profit. It is calculated by taking revenues and adjusting for the cost of doing business, depreciation, interest, taxes and other expenses. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's assume the total revenue of Bob's business for this year is 50,000 rupees. From the 50,000 rupee revenue, let's assume that he has to pay 5,000 rupees as rent, 5,000 rupees as tax and 10,000 for the laborers as salary. Now he will be left with 30,000 rupees. This 30,000 rupees what Bob has managed to earn, after subtracting total expenses from his total revenue of 50,000 is the net profit. Since he is not the complete owner of the business he cannot retain the entire profit of 30,000 rupees. He will need to divide the profit of 30,000 among the shareholders depending on the number of share that the shareholder holds. We already know that the shareholder, irrespective of how many shares one holds is the part owner of the company and he will be having claim over the assets and the earnings of the company. But since Bob holds majority shares or this can be also known as ownership stake, he is the head of the company and has all the right to decide whether the profits have to be given to the shareholders as dividends or whether it has to be reinvested in the business. Now we got to know that Bob's company reported a net profit of Rs 30,000. As a shareholder one needs to look at how much did each of his share manage to earn. The profit that each share earns is also known as earnings per share. The shareholder needs to divide the net profit of the company by outstanding shares or the total number of shares issued by the company to obtain earnings per share. Definition of Earnings Per Share Earnings per share is defined as the portion of a company's profit allocated to each outstanding share of common stock. Let's understand it with an example. Bob's company reported a profit of Rs 30,000. The total number of shares issued by the company is 10,000. Therefore to find what each stock has earned, one needs to divide 30,000 by 10,000. Here 30,000 is the net profit of the company and 10,000 is the outstanding shares. So when 30,000 is divided by 10,000 the value we get is 3. This means that from the profit of 30,000 earned by the company, each share of the company has managed to earn 3 rupees. Moving on. What is price to earnings ratio or PE ratio? Price to earnings ratio is a valuation ratio of a company's current share price compared to its earnings per share. It is obtained by dividing the current market price of the stock by its EPS or earnings per share. For example, let's assume that the current market price of Bob Company's share is 30 rupees and we already know that the EPS of the share is 3. Therefore the PE ratio is obtained by dividing 30 by 3. Here 30 is the current market price of the stock and 3 is the EPS. The P.E. ratio of Bob's company is 10. The value 10 obtained represents that for 1 rupee earning of the company investors are ready to pay 10 rupees. So, P.E. ratio represents that for 1 rupee earning of the company, how much are the market participants ready to pay? Here is another example. Let's assume the current price of the stock is 300 rupees and earnings per share is 15 rupees. The P-E ratio becomes 20, when 1 divides 300 by 15. The value 20 obtained, represents that for 1 rupee earning of the company investors are ready to pay 20 rupees. The preferred P-E ratio is less than 15. Here we come to the end of this tutorial on earnings per share and price to earnings ratio. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.